Hello, everybody. Welcome to Scotty's Side. Thank you for joining me today. Wow. Wow. What an incredible last two weeks, week and a half, something like that. My subscriber count has exploded from 60-something, 50, 60, 70-something to now over 500. Um, this is incredible. I did not expect this. Um, apparently, you guys really liked the uh, Why MGTOW is Hated video. Um, it's got over 14,000 views now, I think. Something like that. So I really, really appreciate it. Um, thank you for all the comments. Thank you for all the views. Thank you for all the subscriptions. And um, if you've been sharing it, that's awesome. That's great. Really appreciate it. Um, so this is kind of my 500 subscriber special, if you will. Um, a while ago, I was going to do a 100 subscriber special. Um, and then it jumped up to 200 very quickly, within a few days maybe. Um, and then last week I was very, very ill, very sick. Um, so I just stayed in bed and didn't watch it really at all. And then uh, saw that it jumped to 400 subscribers. So I was going to do a 400 subscriber special. And then I still couldn't get around to doing a video, so now it's over 500. So... <laughs> Here we go, 500 uh, subscriber special. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. We're going to go over some comments and uh, questions and all that kind of stuff. Um, just kind of randomly. And because I don't, I don't respond to comments uh, through YouTube and typing stuff out. I really don't get involved with that. I read them. Um, I read most of them. Especially now, I've gotten so many comments, I just can't, I can't keep up um, with work and the gym and all that kind of stuff. So, I'm just going to go over some now and respond. So there we go. Hope you like it. Alright, let's check it out here. We are going to switch, boom, to my overlay. Made by my buddy, made by my buddy Ike. <laughs> So here's the first one. Greetings from Germany. MGTOW allows me to maintain my self-respect as a man in this matriarchal society. Uh, this society has taken away my, I think, authority as a man, so I don't take responsibility for women anymore. That's only fair. Feminism has made men aware of their enslavement. Now they can decide against it. I only take responsibility for myself now. Thank you for your content, Sky Sight. Aw. MGTOW saves the lives of, lives of men. I am going my own way. That's awesome. Um, wow. I can't believe that my channel has made it to Germany. That's fucking crazy. That's awesome. Um, I'm glad you have found your own way and that you are doing well. Um, yeah, MGTOW does save the lives of a lot of men. Um, and I'm glad you're going your own way. Hell yeah, brother. Keep it up. Um... I will keep the content coming, I promise. <laughs> okay, so this comment is, uh, this was my latest video before this one, the, uh, um, the this is how White Knight Betas are born, I think is what it's called. He's being a dad, the same thing that us men complain about not being in our lives. Dads aren't soft and cuddly like women. They kick your ass when you cross the line. Um, yeah, but again, he wouldn't have done that if it was his daughter. I think you missed the point entirely. Go back and listen to what I said. Okay, here's a uh, comment from Samuel. Men guarding their own wallets. <laughs> Men governing their own wealth. Men getting their own wisdom. Men grabbing their own wins. Men getting tired of women. <laughs> Men greatly taking on the world. 
men going their own way. MGTOW is growing so much here in Mexico, and I'm sure it'll do soon in Latin America. Well, um, again, my video reaching Mexico is amazing. That's really fucking cool. Um, <laughs> I love all these different MGTOW <laughs> meanings. Uh, they're all great. I love them. Um, thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching the video. Um, this was on the uh, Why MGTOW is Hated video. Um, this is probably where I'm going to respond to most comments because this is where I got most of the comments. So, um, thank you for the comment. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, so here's one from uh, Sigma Rodan. Rodan? Rodan? Sadly, everyone, including my family, thinks it's dangerous for someone like me uh, to go MGTOW, even though I've been following the philosophy for almost three years. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of people are going to feel that way because they don't understand. And um, they think anyone kind of going off the beaten path, doing their own thing, is dangerous. So, you know, unfortunately, if you have to live with them, you got to kind of deal with it. And I'm, I, I hope you don't have to live with them and deal with this. But, um, you know, don't let anyone tell you what to do and what path to take keep going your old your keep going your own way man i really like this uh comment right here the most hated person uh is the one who tells the truth man that is so very real um and you can see that in a lot of society today especially you know, with uh, other political things going on. But uh, people don't like the truth, man, because it, the truth can really hurt. The truth can uh, show someone's fallacies. And uh, a lot of people don't like that they maybe need to improve or that they're wrong in some way so I mean I get it but what you said is very very real and it's uh this is probably one of my favorite comments thank you this is from Steve Riley I guess I couldn't agree more brother I think at its core women hate MGTOW for two reasons first they perceive it as rejection and to a large extent, that's true. Um, second, every man that leaves the plantation is one more man whose resources will never be made available to a woman. That freaks them out. They see their security abandoning them. Now they have to live up to their own hype. Strong, independent, don't need a man, and all that noise. Man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. That is definitely true. Um, I, I, I definitely agree with all this right here. Um, they definitely do get freaked out that, um, there's a possibility of a rejection, especially if the girl's pretty. They don't like rejection. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, you, you said, uh, their security isn't there, which is very true. Because, look, as women get older and they start hitting that epiphany phase, this really, really hits them hard. And um, you mentioned they have to live up to their own hype, which they can't. And uh, I think that's where the epiphany phase comes in and they're like, oh shit, I do need a man. I do need support. I can't do it on my own. And that's why they call it the epiphany phase. <laughs> so, yeah, I agree with this totally, 100%. Thank you for the comment. This is a very simple comment I really like. Agreed, spot on. Thank you, Indy Big Tail. I appreciate that. Hell yeah.
Here's a good one right here. It's worse in the black community. Try being a black man who doesn't want to be involved with single mothers. You might as well be Osama bin Laden touring New York City. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um... I got I got nothing cuz I'm I don't really hang out in the black community. I'm not black, obviously. Um Stay strong, brother. <laughs> Keep going your own way, man. <laughs> wow, another one from on the other side of the world. Hello, MGTOW from India. Wow. Hello. Thank you for dropping by and leaving a comment. I really appreciate it. I am happy that MGTOW is growing in India. You know, I've heard that. Um, I'm really happy that it is. That's so great. Um, you guys need it really bad over there. I've heard of some of the laws over there that are just super hostile to men. Terrible. Terrible. So stay strong. Keep fighting the good fight. Thanks. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Here's a good one from Tiffany J. MGTOW does sound like a bunch of bitter men. Well, more power to y'all. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No argument. No facts. All emotion. All shaming. Thank you for proving our point. I love you. So this is from my don't date co-workers video I dated a co-worker a couple years back and I gotta agree nine times out of ten things will not end well especially when you're surrounded by people who love to talk and gossip yes 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 um, I think every time I dated someone from work ended terribly and it it, it it just got weird and awkward and, whew, you know, work can already be stressful enough. Having to have that on top of it, fuck a bunch of that. Fuck a bunch of that. So, totally agree. <laughs> I wanted to point this comment out. Don't get your head where you make your bread. Very nice. I like that saying. Zach, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steal that from you. Thanks, brother. Really appreciate that one. <laughs> now this one I wanted to point out because this person says, wow, this hits home with me. I dated two coworkers. The, the first wasn't a big problem. It was just awkward when it was over. Now the second one got me fired and got me fired on alleged sexual harassment. She hustled money from me and after I got fired, she tried to get me arrested. All because I stood up to her. So guys, remember, women are great at playing the victims. They always, they will always be believed over you even when they lied. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this is the typical, dude, you got me too You got me too And I'm sorry you did. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Um, thankfully, during my experiences, I didn't get me too so, whew, you know, uh, I hope it all worked out for you and you didn't get arrested <laughs> and it doesn't sound like you did, but, um, yeah, another reason, yet another fantastic reason why to never date coworkers. Ooh. Now, last but not least... I, I wanted to point this one out because when I saw this, I got super excited. Look at this. Hammerhand. Hammerhand commented on my Why MGTOW is Hated video. This is awesome. Um, Hammerhand is a uh, is definitely someone I uh, look up to. Um, my MGTOW brother. And... Um, big fan of his so this made me super excited that he saw my video and actually took the time to comment so hammerhand thank you brother keep fighting the good fight i love your content um 
if you couldn't tell, you know, I kind of took a little bit of uh, uh, inspiration from him. You know, he we kind of we kind of do the same uh, thing when he does the longer form kind of stream of consciousness, just talking to the phone, which is what I do most of the time. Um, he has those really short clips, which I don't do because I don't have the time to do that stuff and I'm not on TikTok and all that kind of crap. So, but super excited. Thank you, Hammerhand. I appreciate it. Hell yeah. Well, all right, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Again. And I mean that. I really do mean that. I really appreciate everything. Uh, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscriptions. That's so awesome. Um, I did not expect this. I did not expect my video, uh, Why MGTOW is Hated, to get as many views as it does. Um, I'm really super excited. And I appreciate it. And uh, more content coming. Always. Whatever I think, I just kind of spill it out into the phone and upload it for all of you guys. So my MGTOW and Red Pill and whoever else is watching, even if you don't like me, I love you all. All right. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye.